I'm gonna do everything I can to not make this personal. I don't mind sharing my opinion and I definitely don't mind you guys sharing your opinion in the comments. But once we make this personal, <laughs> there's a lot of feelings that are gonna get hurt. So you guys saw the title? Let's dig into it. This is my fifth time recording this video over the past couple of days. Originally, I wanted to talk about the enthusiasts of World of Warcraft compared to the casual players and talking about both good and bad aspects on both sides. And I had a video completely ready to go. And it got really sentimental and I won't go into a lot of details about it, but when I woke up this morning and I saw that the video I posted like yesterday, which was the speed leveling video, and that video was supposed to be you know, lighthearted and say, hey, this is a really fun way to boost your alts really, really quickly. I got comments like this, because I had mentioned that, yeah, if you want to take a chance and like open up your mailbox at a certain time and this guy's like, yeah, take a chance, oh my gosh, no, this is how you actually do it. <laughs> and I just thought, oh man, there's, <laughs> there's just no winning here. So I said to myself, no, we're gonna scrap that old video. And I'm gonna completely redo this video and talk about certain things that kind of differentiate what a tryhard is and also what a casual player is in World of Warcraft. And I've narrowed it down to about four different topics that I wanna talk about that compares the two. I'm pretty sure that there are a ton more. And I'm also pretty sure that a lot of you are gonna be able to remind me of which those ones are in the comments. By all means, go for it. But let's go ahead and pop up two different sections. We got casuals and we got tryhards. Now one trait of a casual is that they like to take their time while playing the game. Possibly going through the quests and reading all the text lore or appreciating the small little details in the game. From what I'm understanding, time is not a really big problem for the casual gamer, but rather time in their real life is, because the casual gamer doesn't have a lot of time to dedicate into playing World of Warcraft. It's very limited. They have other responsibilities that they're putting before the game, and that's perfectly fine. We got a lot of mom and dads out there with you know three to five kids who put the kids down for bed, and they may have like 30 minutes to an hour to actually play World of Warcraft. And if that's the case they're usually using world of warcraft to wind down so casuals are going to take their time now with the tryhards over here time is of the essence they're trying to get to max level or max whatever it is in the game as fast as possible if there's a barrier in the way they're going to do everything they possibly can to jump over it so we're talking about add-ons and weak auras to speed things up when I was doing all of the quest lore back in the day and B of A dropped, my buddy Jay said, we are going to speed level as fast as possible. And I really didn't want to do that. I told him I wanted to read all of the quests, but I went along with it and I started leveling up really fast with him. And I found that I really wasn't enjoying that process. So while he went off and leveled really fast, I stayed back and decided to read all the quests and level slowly. But I had a lot of time to play the game. So does that make me a casual player? Because I wasn't trying to rush to the end but rather I was trying to learn the quest lore and the story because I was focusing on a YouTube channel that was based on that content where do we draw the line there the second traits that I want to talk about is why casuals and tryhards play the game casuals play the game to relax and to have fun and you know what that's actually a really good reason to play World of Warcraft the game's fun we play the game to hit that dopamine level and experience some entertainment and there's definitely nothing wrong with that because that's why video games are made. But casuals are there to experience the world of Azeroth and see this different world and just be there. Not saying that all casuals are just walking around aimlessly in the forest, but when you think of the word casual, is that what you think about? That they're just playing the basic things of the game? Or do you think about something else? Like the tryhards, for example, the guys who are going for completion. They're the ones that are looking to get all the new content done and try and be the first to do it. That means they're working on their gear. That means they're talking to people in Discord about planning new raids, clearing heroic as fast as possible so they can jump into mythic raiding. Maybe a couple of people in that guild are pushing for gladiator in arena. The tryhards are in it to win it. But if they're not doing everything at 100% volume, are they really a tryhard? So where does that line get crossed? Now on the third trait, this is where things can get a bit confrontational. And guys, before I start talking about this one, just hear me out. This is the vibe that I'm getting when reading comments and seeing gameplay and all that stuff. Casuals want the game to be easy. They wanna get powerful and they wanna breeze through the content. And the more casual you are, the more you're gonna want this to happen. 
which means if you're not super, super casual, you're going to want a little bit more of, you know, something else, maybe a little bit of opposition to get in your way. But the extreme casual just wants a nice, relaxing, easy ride. Whereas the tryhards are expecting challenges. These guys want a mountain to climb so that when they get to the top, they can say, hey, look where I'm at. And I'm not saying that every tryhard is like, hey, look at me. But there are some that are just doing it for the sense of accomplishment. And that's a great thing. Now, here's where the bad stuff comes in. Casual players are toxic. <laughs> Casual players toxic. What? Yeah, yeah, there is a toxicity level when it comes to being a casual player. Referencing the trait that we just talked about, you know, about things being easy, there are some casuals, some, not all, there are some casuals who want to get into high-end raids even though they haven't put the time or the effort into getting their gear ready for it. For example, if we look at Mop Remix, there's a lot of people who are really upset because they can't get into a normal raid because their gear isn't high enough. And correct me if I'm wrong, but is that a thing? People are getting upset about that, right? Because I see comments like this where people are saying that using an add-on like Panda Threads to see how many threads a person has on their cloak is considered toxic. Because now people who are higher geared can pick and choose who they want to bring into their raid group. So the casuals will call the tryhards toxic because they're not letting them play the game. When I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that there is certain content made for the casual player, and there is certain content made for the tryhards. Where you fall between those categories depends on how much time you're playing the game, possibly who you know, there's a lot of factors. But casual players do call the tryhards toxic. But the casual players are toxic because they're shaming the guys who want to min-max on things and say that that's a bad thing or that they're playing the game too much. When people's lives are just really different from everybody else's. So if the casual players are toxic, what does that make the tryhards? Well, they're also toxic. Because unfortunately we have a lot of people that are in the tryhard section and they shame the casuals. Because they don't play enough, because their gear level isn't high enough. This right here is an ongoing battle. And as mentioned in the beginning of the videos, the tryhards will comment like this. You know, my video was simple. It was saying, hey, here's a really cool way how to level alts really fast. And it was fast, it was under two hours. But because I didn't go into deep detail about the very best way to do it, even though the title says, is this the best way to do it? The toxic attitude came out and the guy was like, no, you're doing it wrong, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> Guys, I can either laugh at this or just get really pissed off, and I think it's just better to laugh at it. All in all, I, I enjoy reading the comments, and if, if someone gets a little too personal, I just say, well, you're not welcome here, and, you know, they're gone forever. So I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of other traits that we can name off, right? But here comes the big question. Where is the line drawn between being a tryhard and being a casual player? Can you be both? Would you rather not label yourself as a casual player or a tryhard just as a gamer who likes to play World of Warcraft? Or is there a third section called the troll? And those are the ones that are just spreading hate regardless of the situation. Leave your comments down below. I do read all the comments and reply to most of them if they're being respectful and not taking things personally. And if you guys like this content, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I am making a lot more content these days and it's a lot of fun. Plus, if you guys wanna start talking on a day-to-day -day basis, make sure to check out my Discord channel. And if you guys want to hang out with me, then go ahead and follow my Twitch channel. I do a lot of workout stuff in the morning in my home gym, and that's happening Monday through Friday. But after next week, I'm gonna have a lot of time to do more gaming streaming. I've got a production at a theater that I'm wrapping up right now, and it's gonna give me a lot of time to stay home and start working a lot more, which means we're gonna do a lot more game streaming. Make sure to check out all my other social media platforms like Instagram. And having said that, I know this is a very confrontational subject, but I can't wait to hear your comments, and I'll see you guys next time in Azeroth. Take care.